Okay, <clears throat> okay, uh, we're here at Frisco Commons, checking things out, doing a little fly fishing for some trout, and well, uh, struck out so far, so we're gonna give it a shot a little bit later, we're just kind of warming up, temperatures are in the 30s, and oh well. Uh, we did try some new things, a uh, couple of things. One, uh, we went to our uh, two-weight fly rod right here, for that Orbis uh, Hydro Cecil 1 reel, along with uh, Real Trout Max uh, with the OPST laser line, and uh, it's been doing really well for us and being able to cast, especially with the wind, on this uh, 10 foot 2 weight. So we're really happy with that. We'll probably get some more video out on that here shortly. Uh, let's see. And then the other thing is, is the other thing is, is we uh, tried mixing it up with some of our dry flies because the dry fly actually usually happens sometime throughout the day, maybe closer to the evening. Uh, we tied in some of these, call them one-third Griffiths mat. So it's a Griffiths mat that uh, is tied a lot quicker than uh, other ones because you skip the peacock curl. It's just really a, a <coughs> back on tying thread as the uh, body and then uh, some grizzly hackle to, to help you uh, keep that fly floating. Well, that said, talking about dry flies, one of the things that uh, we ran out of recently was some dry fly floating. We usually use um, this one, I think it's a uh, gink or something uh, that we get at uh, Cabela's. Well, uh, unfortunately when we left, we didn't have any. Uh, so we stopped uh, at the racetrack to go get uh, some coffee and bricks and champions. And guess what? Picked up some Carmex. And uh, what we soon found out is, is this does work uh, as a dry flight flow. It's keeping that uh, one-third grip snap uh, on the surface. Just unfortunately, we don't have any trout biting yet. so. Please stay tuned for more. Hopefully we can uh, give you an update as to uh, how things are going. Let's go ahead and uh, show you what we have out here today. Okay, so right now what we're seeing is, is um, some super dupers are working as well as uh, uh, a bubble fly float with, uh, uh, I think, a fly and a, a trailing tandem rig. So that's been working. Uh, yours truly hasn't gotten anything yet, but we're going to give it a shot just for a little bit more is uh starting to wind starting to pick up so uh, i do up. i think it was in the 30s when we started but it should be in the 40s now going up to the 50s uh, so it's not too crowded yet uh, and the fish are biting just uh, not on our hook right now all right all for now uh, and again carmex does work as a dry fly float all right for next time we'll catch y'all there and good luck and good fishing